Hello YouTube, here's another box design. It's a free box design. It's free as in free and also free as in beer because if you drink beer, beer tastes good. So this, this box right here is a box. It contains components such as subwoofers. After you put the subwoofers in, this, this model of this box does not have subwoofer models put in to the subwoofer box model but they would go in these holes right here that are cut out to the size to fit a 12 inch subwoofer it has two of those holes which is a good amount because then you can put two subwoofers in it it's ported and the port is um it's right there in the middle which is a good place for it i believe uh we got two baffles here you can count them that's one and that's that's another one you could you could even do more baffles but if you put another baffle here, it's going to change your port tuning a little bit. Not very much, but this, this box is already big as fuck. It's already tuned low as fuck. This box is tuned to about 25 hertz, actually a little under 25 hertz. It's like 24.8 if you want to get real, 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 real particular. Um, it's 7.13 cubic feet without the subwoofers in it. And I made this for Exton X2 1244s, and they, they are really nice. They are really nice subwoofers. They really bump, slam, burr, womp, do, 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 all those noises, and they do it at like a really, really a lot, a, like a big amount. There's a lot of noise that comes out of them. Um, but anyway, after a displacement with those subwoofers, it was 6.9 cubic feet. And that's also after the bracing you can see inside there. I'll take the top off real quick here. Uh, there we go. You can see that that port is a port. It's um it's like two and a half inches by fourteen and a half inches in uh, width and length. You can calculate the port area if you want. Um, I did see when I plotted this out on WinISD this this box with the extant X twos will hit down to like 20 hertz no problem and at 20 hertz the air velocity inside the port according to wind ISD would about be about 40 meters per second which is pretty quick that would generate some air noise but you're not hitting that low that often and if you're hitting that low at full tilt you're probably not going to hear it so I don't want to hear too much about my port width and height if you really care that much you could probably go change it but you're probably going to end up tuning your box higher which would be fine you know not everybody wants super 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 low bass but uh this is a super low bass box um anyway i got these brace right here it's a two by four this is a two by two you could probably put another two by two or something going up and down i just uh i didn't do that i think it would it's, it'd be all right since the ports are right here in the center they'd brace it up a little bit but maybe maybe it'd be worth it i don't know you got to make that decision yourself but this is how this is how I made it. Um, so I did put this box together. And I never tested it out in its current configuration. It's just a box design. Uh, I had to cut the box down to fit it in the guy's car. So that was unfortunate. But I still gave him a good box. I'll actually have a revision of this design that fits in the car. The specific car. A little bit later. But right now this is just a box that I don't know where it fits. It fits wherever it fits. Um, so I'll give you the dimensions of it here. I'll go through them a little bit. I'll have all the dimensions in PDFs and inside this file uploaded on archive.org. Don't worry about that. That's what I always do. You want to look at the dimensions? Just just rev up your free CAD. Rev up your free CAD, man. Uh, go go look at the PDFs. So this is the front baffle, which is a double double baffle, by the way. Of course, uh, it says right here. It's it's for more base. Smiley face. And it was, it was, I did it. Me, I made that. Um, so it's two foot nine inches wide, the box, and one foot five inches and a half inch tall. And that does not fit in a Hyundai Sonata from 2015. It really doesn't. We tried hard. I mean, we kind of got it in there, but it was too big. Just trust me. Um, so it might fit in something else. Measure your trunk better than I measured that trunk. I, I screwed up, but it's okay. Uh, what what am I looking at right now? Top and bottom. Okay, so the the box is two foot two inches and a half inch long. So that's uh, twenty six and a half inches. It's a big boy, big big old box. 
Uh, I'm just going to go through these real quick. I'm not going to read them all. These are the sides. This is the back, of course. This is the side brace, and these are 2x4s, like I said. You could probably use a 2x2. Two two. I just chose to do a 2x4. That's just what I chose. This is the rear braces. This is a 2x2, two two. and then, you know, length, whatever. And then this is the port, both pieces of the port. The port is 1.5 inches longer than that. So it's, let's see, uh, 18 inches, it's 20 inch, it's a 20 inch long port. Um, so anyway, if you want a box that slams hella, hella, hella low, this is your box. If it fits inside your car, this is your box. If you don't want to design a big old box, you just want to plug in your woofer specs into WinISD, and see if this big old big giant big box is doing what you want it to do when it looks like it does it's plotting out there and it, you know, it looks like it's slamming all those lows and it fits in your vehicle go ahead and make it I don't I don't really care um, but I'll have a revision later that fits in the actual car I put this in and anyway y'all go ahead download it look at it spin it around modify it build it Post a video of it bumping, slamming, burring, whomping, whatever. Put whatever subwoofers you want in it. Put a couple duels in it. I don't care. Blow them up. Put a couple power acoustics in it. Put some bosses in it. Put some fucking extants in it. They work real good in here. Trust me on that. They work real, real good in here. Put some Rockfords in it. Put some Rockvilles in it. Put some Kickers in it. Put some... Uh, fuck, I don't know. Uh, does, does, does Hyphonics make subwoofers? I really don't know. Uh, put whatever in there, man. Spump it and have a good day.